going to pull my fix back out and put this stock seat back in the 240. Um, I think I'm going to reshell the, the motor that's in this thing um, and put it in something else. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the stuff I'm not going to sell with the shell off of it. Uh, and then I just figure I might as well do that. Um, also, I just put coilovers on it, which really sucks because that was like a huge waste of time. So I get to pull those back off and put uh, lowering springs back on it. Because I've just had some of these stupid KYB things. Um, and I'm just gonna go back in the car, so. I'll see what I can get done um, before I sweat the rest of my ass off. But luckily enough, the seat is already like half out of the car because I was modifying seat rails. I'm six foot tall. So I bought a non sunders car, but I was modifying seat rails, so it's already half out. So luckily enough for me, uh, just kind of just pull the seat out of the car and then take the seat brackets out. Uh, so we will try to get that done real quick. If anybody wants S13 seat brackets, those will be for sale. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it out because now is I guess, the best time. And it'll make it look pretty for the next guy that buys it. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do real quick. cleaner stinks. I guess I should take that apart one day. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and put the back seat in it because that was out uh, for the harnesses when I was doing that. Um, and then do the front seat. So, I guess a little background info on this car, since I didn't really talk about it. Um, so, I built this car, well, this motor was in another coupe shell 
that was like gutted. It didn't have heat, um, didn't have anything. Windows weren't wired up, sunroof didn't work. Um, it just had like headlights, taillights, brake lights, shit like that. And the point of this one is I bought this car as a running SR20 car. Um, and it was 100% complete. So I bought it knowing I was gonna put the LS in this. Um, I wanted to build a more street friendly car, something that I could drive to work every day if I wanted to. Um, and so that's what I did. I built this more street car and so everything works on it. Um, shy of AC. I don't wanna pay $500 for some sticky lines or get them made. I just, it just seemed like a hassle. Also, I daily drive a 2010 Lexus that has AC. Um, the Jeep has AC and my girlfriend's Audi has AC. So there's really no point um, in worrying about AC with the 240 because I don't have to drive it every day. So I just don't, I don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, I feel like I'm more at home in a BMW chassis than I am a 240 chassis. I've had seven or eight of these, seven or eight BMWs. I think I'm just more at home in a BMW. So the, the goal is to go ahead and pull this motor out and put it in an E36 uh, and sell this thing. Uh, awesome car. I just, it sits more than anything. Um, I think, especially now that it's 90 degrees outside, I don't want to drive it at all. Other than that, it's pretty normal, kind of run of the mill LS build. Pretty simple, I guess. Nothing too crazy on it. Um, just, it, I just really wanted a clean car. Um, which if anybody knows what these seats are out of, or what trim S14 these seats are out of, I've never seen that pattern before. Um, but I just wanted a regular car and I think, I think I'm just more at home in a BMW chassis. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just reshell the chassis, sell all the 240 stuff. Um, go back to a, what in my opinion is a better street chassis which is an E36 over an F13. I think it's just gonna be more more comfy and a little easier to to do it like a street car. Um, I'd love to do the whole race car thing, but I don't I don't drift, I don't race, I don't do anything. I just like building them, so street cars make sense. So that's kind of the background on this thing. Well, I guess that's it for right now. Um, I don't really know. There's not like a whole lot of things that I gotta do to this thing. Uh, I'll probably pull coilovers off and put the stock, or the e box stuff back on it. Uh, so I'll probably do something about that. Um, but I guess if I can find an E36, that's when I'll, I'm gonna try to start making videos and actually do something with that, but who knows. I guess we'll figure out if I can actually find one. How, how do you end videos? It, do I palm it? No. Keep I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna, I don't know how to end videos, so, uh,